Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have a little photo card haul as you can see here. Um, if you're not familiar with this tape, this is from Poke Market, and I have been getting ads for this service for so long and I was just like really curious so I decided to like bite the bullet and just try it. So yeah, today I have a little haul slash review thing for you guys not sponsored i did buy all of this myself because again i just really wanted to test out the service to know if it was like worth it compared to like other services i use like mercari japan and all that stuff and yeah i don't know i have like mixed feelings about this but i'm gonna do the haul first and then i'll get into like the review i guess later but yeah i'm gonna look at this bright pink like bubble mirror so yeah i did buy quite a few photo cards because I wanted to get like the max amount um, so that the shipping would kind of be like more worth it. So yeah, I love how it comes in this cute little container though. Like I kind of want to use this for like other stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it just says poke on it and there's a cute little thank you card. I love all their little like characters. It's so cute. And then I guess they have a like giveaway going on. So if I post a picture, I might get free shipping. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I bought a hefty stack of photo cards like yeah so you know we're just gonna go through it one by one show you guys what i got so first photo card i have here is i believe taehyun's sonara benefit um yeah i did try to play a little bit of catch up on his pops and stuff that i didn't have um i mean i couldn't find most of them because <laughs> they were expensive but i did find quite a few that were like pretty decently priced overall a lot of things are very like under market price on there compared to like what they'd sell for like on instagram in the us or something so i did really appreciate that because i feel like those photo cards that were cheap were like the most worth it but yeah i'll get more into all of that later on but yeah that's the first photo card and then i got this one i believe it's his neighbor live like weaver shop benefit and this was so cheap and i see this for so expensive here and i was like i will be buying that <laughs> like I will be getting that. And then next up, I did actually get quite a few Taehyun photo cards looking at it now. But this is one of his like the Festa photo cards. And like, I don't even see these here anywhere. So the fact that I was able to find it there and for like a really good price, I was very happy. And then I got one of the last um, photo book cards I was missing. So yes, um, this one is, I forgot the versions to be honest, but I just need one more. But yeah, again, very decently priced compared to here where all these photo book cards go for like over $10, which is insane. And then here, this is another one of the DeFesta photo cards and it's literally beautiful. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't see these floating around on like American Instagram at all. Or maybe I'm just not looking, but I'm very happy to have that. And more Taehyun. <laughs> There's a lot of Taehyun. I would say this haul is like 90% Taehyun and June. But yes, this is one of his season's greetings photo cards that I didn't have. And then the last one I need is like so expensive for some reason. But yeah, I got that one. And then I got a Temptation Pop here. I don't remember which one this was. I mean, it's not the cutest, but you know, I do collect all of his cards. So I did buy that. And then here, I'm pretty sure this is like his Dear My Muse photo card. Again, so decently priced, like insanely decently priced. So I went ahead and bought that as well. I think all the Taken photo cards are at the top, but I swear there's like other things in here, guys. Okay, so this I believe is a lucky draw, which is very weird because it's not like the same material that it used to be. Like it's a lot flimsier now. So I'm like, this doesn't feel like a lucky draw. But yeah, this is in fact a lucky draw from Temptation. And again, the price, unbeatable for sure okay next i have a doyoung photo card i believe this is from perfume and by the way when i started my haul actually my goal was to buy photo cards that were only like two dollars and under because there is like quite a few um but eventually i reached the point where like nothing i needed anymore was like two dollars and under so i started um like buying i didn't go past five dollars i don't think on any photo card not including fees but yeah that's why like the photo cards are kind of like random <laughs> But yeah, like at first I was just trying to buy like the cheaper photo cards because I felt like that would make it the most worth it considering the fee. So yeah, I got this Doyoung photo card. It, I'm pretty sure it was like less than $2. And then this is the last hidden photo card I needed. And I thought, well, this feels like really weird. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but this does not feel like my other New Jeans photo cards. Okay, actually, I think it's fine. I think I just never really like took in 
um how new jeans photo cards kind of feel different from other photo cards but yeah i do think it's real but yeah when i was doing my story and photo cards video i thought i had all my omg cards but i was actually missing this one because i forgot it was in this haul so yeah that's photo card i need and then i have a sakura photo card again decently priced so i was like i will go ahead and get that although the seraphim photo cards in general are like kind of expensive but yeah and then i managed to find like one heater photo card for a decent price and she was the only member i was really looking to buy because her photo cards are like either impossible to find or really expensive so since this one was a decent price i went ahead and picked that up and then here i have a sumin photo card well this is like a really thick photo card but i don't remember where this is from but i feel like it's like a digi pack photo card question mark i don't know but it's very adorable and before we get into this stack i just want to have these two out because they're the last two things that aren't june literally everything after this is just june photo cards it's a little bit insane but yeah i didn't have taken type insight photo cards so i went ahead and bought that as well it was kind of annoying that they were sold separately but yeah i just went ahead and bought them they were really like decently priced and yeah literally this whole stack is just june photo cards like i really put in the work on my june collection with this so yeah i mean 17 photo cards are pretty cheap on there for the most part so i was really able to um buy a lot but yeah i believe this is his deluxe version photo card i didn't buy the deluxe version album so i just wanted to buy his photo card and it was really cheap so there's that and then here is one of the photo cards from the fight for my life version which i wasn't really able to trade for this version i'm not sure why but yeah now we have that and then i have some an old photo cards there's a lot of an old photo cards but this is one of the truth versions this one is so cute and then this is like the other version of that again truth i'm just obsessed like his photo cards are so cute and here we have a little horange june from the real version adorable oh my god this one is like my favorite photo card ever like are we joking he looks so adorable but yeah this one is from the real version it's so cute and then i got his last beret photo card it was very very decently priced which i was very happy about because people love to overprice these beret photo cards but this was very much a good price so i am glad and i got a bunch of hangar photo cards because again they were all like very cheap um like two dollars and under some of these were even like a dollar and under so yeah i got this hangar photo card i i would not be able to tell you the versions for hangar because there's really just too many so yeah but yes more hangare photo cards oh these sleeves are like different from the other ones but yes we got this one and this one is from the same version i love this hair color on june like it's so pretty okay and then i got one your choice card because the other your choice cards are like crazy priced um yeah but i got the other side photo card and i didn't like i tried not to get older cards um because i do want to buy the reprint albums when i have a chance so yeah i don't want to buy photo cards that i might pull but yes here is an attacker card i think i finished attacker for the most part with this so that is nice and then yeah there's a lot of attacker photo cards here so this one i believe is from the carrot version very cute and then again more carrot version photo cards i was really on a go to like complete um a lot of the sets for um the latest albums i didn't fully complete all of them but i made a very good dent so very happy about that i'm getting down to the last few photo cards now so i love this photo card because he's literally like and it's so cute because the concept is so like serious and then he's just like i think it's adorable um i don't know where to put this anymore we're running out of space here <laughs> and then i got one more of this concept i think i actually traded for this one because i didn't realize but yeah um we now have a dupe and then we got one of the path photo cards and this one is like the cutest photo card ever i'm actually obsessed i was surprised it was this cheap because look how adorable it is also i just want to say like everything so far has been in like perfect condition which i mean is kind of surprising but yeah i really appreciate that and then yes we have another control photo card i think i bought like all the control photo cards because i was missing all of them yeah here's the last one very cute okay and i'm kind of running out of space so i'm just gonna start putting it in the center 
but um they sell the weavers photo cards like all separate so i did end up like buying them separately which i don't know how i feel about that but <laughs> Um, I did it and then yeah, this is another one of the weavers ones Obviously the one I'm missing is the like beret one because he looks like beautiful in that But one day I will have that and then this is actually a pov But I bought it so it can go with like this photo card because they're like kind of the same concept with like the music video set So yes, I have this one and I was scared because I know there's like a clear version of this photo card and I really didn't want the clear version but thankfully it's like the normal photo card version and the final photo card um, is another an old card where he looks super cute and yeah, that concludes my giant Pokemarket haul so final thoughts okay, so I think the biggest um, concern here is like the price like is the price of everything in Pokemon Market worth it. So there's like a few things to consider. So obviously there's like the base photo card price and then they have a fee for photo cards um, and it's kind of like a percentage of the price of the photo card. So basically the more expensive the photo card is, the higher the fee is gonna be. And I think there's like a base fee of like $1 per photo card. So like it can't be anything lower than a dollar even if the percentage is lower. So that being said, if I were to buy like more expensive photo cards on Pokemon Market, um, the fee would make it so that it's not really worth it because like the fee is gonna make it the same price as it, it would be like anywhere else but with these like cheaper photo cards since the fee is not that bad you're getting a lot of these for either like the price that you would find them somewhere else or even cheaper like for some of these taken photo cards i would not find them for the price i found them on poke market so i mean in cases like that it was really good and then it also depends like how many photo cards you're shipping out because if you get like the maximum amount um obviously the shipping is going to be divided between all those photo cards so it's going to be a lot better so yeah i think when i watched other people's videos they didn't have like they only had express shipping at the time but when i did my order they had like a non-express option which was not very expensive so that made it a lot more worth it for me because i didn't have to pay like 30 dollars in shipping i think it was like like half of that or something so yeah basically the total price per photo card when i added everything together was um 450 per card and for some of these I wouldn't pay that much but for others I would pay a lot more than that so I feel like it kind of balances out and honestly what I love the most about the site is just like the browsing like it's so so easy to find what you're looking for and whether or not they have it and I love that about it because honestly like searching through like pages and pages of listings sometimes can get like quite exhausting so it's very nice just to like look something up and see whether or not they have it and like be done with it so I feel like that alone would make me want to come back to using it again but like i said i would only use it for like cheaper photo cards because once you get into the more expensive price range the fees get a little crazy and um i feel like at that point when you're paying when you're paying that much in fees you're not really saving much so i don't know i would say it's a good service but again like it really depends on what you're looking to buy like if you're buying like rare expensive photo cards i wouldn't say it's for you but if you're just casually like collecting someone like i made a huge dent in my june collection with this i think it would be pretty worth it um personally but yeah that's pretty much it that's all my like thoughts on poker market i would say i probably see myself using it again at some point i don't know when that point will be but um yeah i think i had a pretty decent experience and yeah i guess one last thing to add is that i did the non-express shipping and it got to me in like a week and a half so i feel like it was worth the wait considering it was like half the price so yeah pretty much all my thoughts on it um yeah this video ended up being a lot quicker than i thought it would but um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox a bunch of photo cards. I can't wait to put them all away. And yeah, that'll be all for today. And I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.